I was part of a group called Polar Trek. Polar Trek is a National Science Foundation sponsored organization that pairs teachers up with polar researchers, both north and south. We have a natural audience, so we're able to communicate the science to students and the outreach to that and expose students to both the poles and to you know what's actually going on in real science rather than what's just going on in a uh, in a classroom so i was paired up for what's called the nabos project it's a program that's been going on since 2002 where in the siberian arctic they are putting down devices and sensors to collect data about the changes underneath the ocean as i was on the chemistry team so we were collecting water chemistry samples so they would uh, drop what was called a cast. It's a big uh, mechanical apparatus that has 24 different water collecting bottles. They would drop it down and then they would program those bottles to open up at different times on the way back up and collect water. And then other days, my job as a Polar Trek teacher was then to follow the other science and communicate with them. So on days we did moorings, I might work till 8 p.m. and because our time was off, I might be out back out on deck at 11.30 at night and from 11.30 to 4 a.m. work with the mooring team and figure out what they do. We also did several ice stations. So I actually got to go out on the ice. We showed up in the helicopter hangar before midnight and then we're out on the ice from 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. and was able to actually do take ice cores and to test sensors. I would often wake up at two or three in the morning and it was light out and I would go and look out my window and I'd watch the ice go by and if something was really cool I'd put on clothes and go walk out on deck and see what was going on and I'd spend an hour and a half or two hours on deck either watching the ice or talking to people or doing something instead of sleeping but I figured I'd have time to sleep when I got back. I was very fortunate. I had uh, Jaime Ochoa was my sub, my long-term sub. Jaime was a student of mine 12 years ago when I first went to the Arctic. So it's very much like a bookended thing. He's not a science person. He has a law degree, but he stepped up and learned the science and he did an amazing job as a teacher. They loved having him. I think they wanted him back rather than me. It's obviously a great honor to represent West Leiden. I've been at Leiden for 33 years. This is my final year before I retire and I figure what a great way to sort of capstone my career. Leiden was, was very supportive. You know, the administration gave me the time off to do this because they value professional development in the faculty, but they also know that I'm going to be bringing these experiences back to our students. I mean, I was able to communicate with our students from a ship in the Arctic. Because there is no one way that people get to the Arctic and end up on a ship. I want to go into art or filmmaking. There's a documentary filmmaker who's going to go to the Arctic. Oh, I want to be a medical person. There's a doctor aboard the ship. Oh, I like mechanics, but I'm not a science person. You mean I could go do, instead of auto mechanics, do oceanographic and engines and motors and things, and I could be on a ship in the Arctic? I can do that. When I was 16, if someone had told me you were going to be able to be in the Arctic twice in your life, I would have said, you're crazy. I grew up in Ohio. I don't know anything about the ocean. And I never had any role models to be able to see that. So for my students, I want them to see that, hey, this can happen.